Hello everyone. Say yes if you love horses. Yeah. Say yes if you love horses. Yes. Say yes if you want to learn more about horses. Yes. Say yes if you want to be really good with horses. Yes. The way to be good is to be natural. The way to be natural is to use your heart, your head, then your body. And when we use our body, we have to have hands that are very light. But we have to have legs who are very strong and very active. Can you see my legs? I do a lot with my legs. I do very little with my hands. Sometimes, even nothing with my hands. But I do a lot with my legs. Why? Because dancing, soccer, and horses is about legs. We have to realize that the reason that we don't use our legs is because we are primates. We are monkey see, monkey do learners, and it's easy for a human being to lean and pull and push, always using the hands. So I'm here today to share with you how to use your heart, your head, your legs, and then your feet. Who wants to learn? Yes, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to have some special demonstrations. I have two of my graduates. They are in my instructor program. They're living here in Germany. So lucky for you, I have instructors in Germany. I have instructors in Switzerland. I have instructors in Austria. I have instructors in Sweden. I have instructors in Italy. I have instructors all over the world, over 150 instructors who have graduated my program. So I'm going to try to share with you today how it works, okay? So let's bring in Nina and Josh. Nina, come in. Please welcome Nina. And Josh. So, let's get one at one side, the other on the other. What we're going to do is show you a few things that are going to be important for you to understand because People have tall bodies. Horses have long bodies. Okay, capisce? And what we have to do is we have to learn to think like we have a long body. We need to learn to think about the front of the horse, the middle of the horse, and the back of the horse. So sometimes we need to tell the horse, go over here, to move the front, and it's easier to push the horse. Can you see? I'm not pulling the horse. Most people go like this. Okay, everybody, I have something for you. Ready? Two feet on the ground. Everyone, two feet. All right? Everybody, put all the weight on the right foot. Put your weight on the right foot. Good. Now, pick it up. You can't pick it up. You can pick up the left one. You see? But everyone does this. When they want to go to the right, they lean to the right. Watch what I do. I lean to the left. So the horse can go to the right, so the horse can go to the left. Can you see I'm over here? Raise your hand if you just learned something. Okay, because the horse, these horses want you to learn this. They want you to know how to think differently, how to feel differently how to act differently, how to touch differently. It took me 35 years to find out neither horses or women like this. True? They rather like this, good, I love you. Not good horse, good woman. Good, I love you. Why? Because the mama, this horse's mama, that horse's mama, that horse's mother, said, I love you, with the tongue. Love you, I love you. She never said to her horse, good boy, good girl. So today we're going to learn about long body logic. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to do something on the ground. So Josh, will you get on the ground, get your carrot stick, and we're going to push the front around, okay? There we go. There it is. It comes, and... Little bit. 
Okay? So first we need to learn on the ground long body logic. So on three, I'm going to say long body logic with me. Okay? Ready? One, two, three. Long body logic. Long body logic. Okay? So Josh is going to show you how to use a herding stick. This is a herding stick 12 feet long. His is 4 feet long, so watch how he does it. He's going to push the front end around in a circle. Okay, first he's going to touch the horse, say I love you. And he's going to teach the horse how to do a performance spin. He's pushing, teaching the horse on the ground. First, how to do that. And go around, but because he has such a long, long arm, he can talk to the horse. Let's give a nice applause. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to first understand how to. Now let's play stick to me. Okay. We need to teach the horse that we have a long body. Right. So his his body is tall, but if he puts the stick behind him, he can be longer than the horse. Even if he puts the string down. He can be, the tail is long. So let's say, ask your horse to go with him. Go all the way around the arena. Go, go, go. So whatever you want to teach your horse, it works really good if you teach them on the ground first. Okay? So he's going to go really fast, and then he's going to stop and back up. Now! Nice applause, huh? Why does this work? Because when that horse was a little baby, his mother did it. The mother said, come with me, go, go, go. The mother said, go, and she said, now stop. The mama said, stop. Back up. We have to eat some grass over here, okay? Does that make sense? That when they're little babies, the mother teaches them this. All I do is teach humans how to think like a horse. Okay, everybody, put your arm out straight, like this. Arm out straight. Put the thumb way out like this, a little bit down. Put it on your chin and go, hmm, oh, now <laughs> I got it. Capito, capito, a little bit capito. Oh, oh, hmm. The problem is we read books. And in the books it says, always do this, never do that, blah, blah, blah. This all comes from the military. I never heard of military and love in the same sentence. But we're going to use love, we're going to use language, we're going to teach you, everyone, how to play with the horse's energy, to manage your horse, but you have to have a long body, okay? So I'm going to give him my stick for a second here. And Josh, what I want you to do is use both sticks and play with your horse, okay? Can he give me a little bit of music? Stop, stop, stop. A little bit of music? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A little bit of music. Just, just for a minute.
have to have long body logic. But you have to learn it step by step, level by level. And this is what my program is. I teach regular people how to get extraordinary results. You don't have to be talented. You don't have to be the most uh, rich person in the world. You just have to love horses. But if you love horses, then you've got to realize, like you do your babies, I want my, my horse to be the best he can be. Uh, how can I do it? What would be the best food I give him? What is the best place to keep him? What is the best program I can teach him? Right now, the Crowley program, we've had 237,000 students graduate the Crowley program from 73 countries, including Texas. <laughs> you can be a graduate too. You can be that person who learns this simple system. Hey, this system is so simple, even adults can do this. <laughs> How many people saw yesterday, the children out here yesterday, on our children's debut? Did you see it? Raise the hand if you saw yesterday. Yesterday we had two little girls, one five years old and the other one eight years old, and learned the whole program on the ground in 33 minutes. Let's give the children an applause, huh? <laughs> Human vernacular until they're 12. Then we turn into practicing adults, and an adult human being who practices making simple things difficult and is easily addicted to linear thinking. We want our process to look like our product. And so what happens is we get very, we make rules, we write them down, and we make everybody follow the rules. How many people know, okay, I have a question. Raise your hand if you own a horse. Raise your hand if you don't own a horse. Raise your hand if you've ever ridden a horse. Who's ever ridden a horse? Okay? How many people know that horses do not follow rules? <laughs> ah! So horses are made not to follow rules. Why? Because they know they taste good. And if they follow rules in the, out in the wild, all the lions would say, Oh no, you have to stop here and I will have you for lunch. So they made not to follow rules. So I have to teach humans to follow guiding principles. So one of the guiding principles I want you to learn is the principle of neutral, right? We're gonna stand still. So Nina, would you put a halter and I need the chair? I have the chair? Nina, I'm gonna ask you uh, go, go to the center, put the chair in the center, okay? And I'm gonna ask her to, Ask her horse to go around in a circle without using the stick. She's going to stay with the stick because with my long body, please go, I will put it down. Hey, we all have to remember one thing. Horses were husbands in their last lives. And if you remember that, then you have to leave them alone at the right time. Okay? Can we put, so I'm going to ask Nina to ask her horse to go in a circle and to put the stick on the chair, okay? And what I want her to do is to put the stick on the chair and we're going to count how many laps she can get without touching, without using the stick, okay? Keep going canter, can you ask her to canter? Keep going, keep going, going, all the whole rope. Okay, let's start now. One, okay, every time she goes by me, one lap. <laughs> Two, oh my God. Oh, we go again, now we gotta get more again. That's good. Now put the stick again, and start again. <laughs> right? We do it, we wait. See how many laps we can get without the There we go. The idea is to, to, to 
leave them alone that they're doing the right thing. Now just let her try. So let's just say try. Try. We're going to play a game. The game is don't make me pick up the stick. Rather than go, 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 keep going, go, go, go. Remember, horses were husbands in the last life. So when they take the garbage out, don't say keep taking it out. Leave them alone. <laughs> You notice the horse is not pulling on the rope. You notice the horse is looking at, at Nina. The next time he goes around Nina, I want to drop the rope and see what happens. Drop it. Now, what happens? That's good to come back. Nice applause, huh? Okay, are you ready? Listen to me, raise your hand if you know someone that cannot do that with their horse. <laughs> oh, maybe your horse wants you to learn the Pirelli program. Let's go the other way, okay? We'll ask her to back first. So what today is all about is foundation to performance and purpose. So if you want your horse, let's say to do reining or uh, cutting or cow horse or jumping, or dressage, or cowboy dressage, or working equitation. These are some basics. Okay, just leave her alone. Drop the rope and see what happens. If you can't drop the, if, when you drop the rope, if the horse takes off, if, that's good. If the horse comes back, then you know you're doing it right. In Australia, they take a piece of wood and they carve it and then they throw it and it comes back. Um, what do they call it? What is it? Boomerang, boomerang, that's right, boomerang. When they throw it and if it doesn't come back, they call it a stick. Okay? So we should be able to play the boomerang game. So let's do it again. Back her up, let's go the other direction. I want you to learn something that chasing a horse is the worst thing you can do because if you chase your horse around in a circle, someday if you need him to come back, a little more, a little more, drop the rope. See what happens. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Yeah. Who wants to learn how to teach their horse to play the boomerang game? You see, what I do is, thank you, give her a nice applause, good job. My job is to teach you how to play psychology games with your horse. My job is to teach you how to play games with your horse using horse psychology. Hmm, oh wait, put the left hand up, everybody, put the left hand up. Put the thumb down, put this one. Mm. Play a game. If you don't play a game, I promise you the horse is going to play the game with you. So you might as well learn to play the game and win the game. Then your horse will love you and respect you. So now, we're going to play another game. We're going to play the stick, the um, follow the rail game. What we're going to do, if you are interested in Competing with a horse, if you're interested in, let's say, um, working on a ranch. Who, who would like to go on a ranch, a real big ranch, and go out and herd cattle and help bring the cows? Yeah? Okay, that's what I do every day. That's because I have a ranch in Colorado, I have a ranch in Florida. Who wants to win a free trip? to come and see my ranch in Colorado. <laughs> okay. Talk to your airline and see if they'll give you the trip out there, okay? If you get there for free, I will I will buy you lunch. Okay? But really you can come ride with me in Florida. You, you know in Florida it's actually warm in the winter time. Have you heard about that? Mm. You wanna come? Okay. You come to my booth afterwards and I'll tell you how to do it, okay? I have to go from here. I how are you? I have to go from here to the question-answer period, okay? 
but then I will be back afterwards, right? And I'm here all days of despair just for you. I came here only for you. You maybe came here for me, but I came here for you because if you weren't here, guess what? I would I wouldn't come. I heard you I heard you were coming, so I, I said, I must go. Okay. Can I have for each on one side of the corral, one starting there, one starting there? And you're gonna fold your arms and we're gonna go around to the right. Okay? So they're gonna fold the arms to see if the horses can trot next to the fence without using the reins. In my program, I teach everyone these simple things to do it with excellence. Okay? Everyone here should be able to do this. Every horse needs to learn that's his job, his responsibility. Now I want both of you to come down to a wall. I want both of you to stop and to back up. Raise your hand if you know somebody who does not know how to do this with their horse. Uh, come on, raise the hands. I tell you what, I give you guys, I give everyone here a thousand dollars for anybody that you can show me from my Corelli graduates. If I give you, if you give me ten dollars for every horse owner I can show you who cannot do this. This is like your children learning how to read. This is like your children learning how to do mathematics. This is like your children learning how to look before they walk across the street. This is imperative for horses to learn. For forever you're going to be using the reins and starting and saying stop, quit, don't, stop, quit, don't. Okay, walk your horses. Make a half circle to the right and go the other way. Watch their legs. I want you to watch their legs. Trot your horses. When you get to the next corner, make a half circle and go the other way at the trot. These are my two of my 154 instructors. They live here in Germany. At my booth, I have another eight instructors if you want to visit to see if they live in your area or if you can go visit them. Because I can't be everywhere. So I have to have When you get to the next corner, make a half a circle and go the other way without using your reins. The eyes, the belly button, the legs. Let's give them an applause. That's pretty good, huh? When you get to the center of the long side, stop your horses. And stop. When you get to the center of the long side, side pass your horses toward me. Side pass your horse toward me without using your arms. Come shake my hand. Come on guys, give them an applause. There are over 5 million people who own horses in the world today. There are over 5 million people who own horses. And I've only had 237,000 graduates. That means I've got 4,760-some-odd more to go. I've got 4 million more people I have to help. So, who wants to be the next graduate? Well, no, better. Who has a horse that wants you to be the graduate of the Crowley program? <laughs> huh? Come on, raise your hand. Because your horse wants you to graduate. Your horse wants you to learn. Your horse wants you to have long body logic. Your horse wants you to have light hands and strong legs. Your horse wants you to be able to just be graceful. So you can let go of those reins someday and just dance with him while you're in the saddle. That's what your horse wants. Do you want it? If you want it, that's why I'm here. That's why I created the program. You know what? 
41 and a half years ago, I did my first seminar. 41 and a half years. Raise your hand if you know somebody who's not 41 years old. I am older than most people. My program is older than most people who are doing it. So I can not live forever with my program hand. I've written books, I've written videos, I've got all kinds of things for you to learn in a sequence. It's called a pedagogical sequence. A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, you got it? I don't know the alphabet in German, but where I come from. Hey, can everybody do that? Because I want you to learn it by heart. You guys know the song? I'll start it, you'll finish it. You ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, L, H, L, M, K, N, O, P. I like them. Q, O, S, <laughs> now you know your ABCs, won't you next time sing with me? Okay, give yourselves a nice applause. You did good. Okay? These people know A, B, C all the way to Z. Most riders, most horse owners, only know about six letters. Not all 26. They get on, they kick to go. Watch what happens when I kick. If I kick to go, she goes backwards. Horses will go backwards if you're kicking easier than they go forward. But what I do to go forward is I squeeze to go. And I relax to stop. Most people, they, kick, they go like this, watch. Giddy up a little bit. They don't want the horse to really go. And when they stop, they go, oh! Why? Because we're primates. So if you guys would each get a carrot stick, so I'm going to share with you now the next thing you need to learn. I'll show you how to use the reins, but I'm going to show you how not to use the reins. Alright? Each other side of the arena, opposite sides. Good. You go over here to that corner, you go to that corner. The first thing I want you to do is use your carrot stick to move the hindquarters around in a circle. Move the okay? Use your carrot stick. Use two hands on the carrot stick. Use two hands. Okay? Now, use the carrot stick to push the front end around in a circle. Nice applause, huh? Who has ever ridden a horse with a, with a strong mouth? Anybody ever ridden a horse with a tough mouth? The Pirelli program teaches people not to have horses with a strong mouth. If we don't kick them to go, we don't pull them to stop. We teach horses to synchronize with us. I pass the other way. Very good. So my my job is to teach people how to push a horse around. Good, good job. Nice, huh? Okay. Now let's put the stick up. Put the sticks up. Put away the stick. One, two, good. Now we're going to use the reins, right? Watch, everybody watch me. This ring, the left one, is connected to the right hind. So if I take it and bring it to this shoulder, the right one is moving, see it? But if I take it over here to the left, the left front is moving. We have to do this, we have to, we have to learn to dance with the feet. We have to, be able to ask the people to the right. But most people just do this. Mmm, oh yeah. Ooh, I hope Pat Corelli never saw me do that. 
You know why I say that? Look, 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 look. You see it? There's a special light there. My teachers who are in heaven, they're looking down right now because they taught me all of this stuff. There's Tom Dorrance, there's Bill Dorrance, there's Ronnie Willis, there's Freddie Knee from Switzerland. There is Walter Zettel from West Poland. There's all my teachers. Hmm? Ray Hunt also there looking down. They're the ones who taught me all of this. And my job, because they didn't charge me any money, my job was to tell everyone, to show everyone, to make a program, to have the way to give a, a guidance. Raise your hand if you love your horse. You love horses? Now you need to learn the language. You need to have a plan, the leadership. Okay, you need to know how to use the reins. When I back my horse, watch my reins. When I back, the right front, then the left front, then the right front, then the left front, then the right front. See my hands, her feet, they're connected. I'm not just holding back. Mm. Oh. These poor husbands, I mean horses, these poor horses. So micromanaged. So we have to learn how to teach our horse to be smart. We have to teach our horse to be calm, to be brave. So now, I'm going to ask both of you to use your reins. Okay, walk forward and back to where you are using reins like I showed you. Okay? Everybody watch. They're going to lock their elbows next to the sides. They're going to have a little bit of movement, just a little, even less, even less, even less, even less, even less, smaller hands, smaller Use the legs a little bit. Is that beautiful? Huh? That's nice. Oh, raise your hand if you know someone who cannot back their horse very well. <laughs> if you cannot back your horse, if you cannot back your horse trailer, anybody know somebody who does not know how to back the trailer up when it's on the car? Oh, that's a problem. You better not go forward if you can't get back. Now, both riders walk forward to the middle. Both of you side pass toward each other. Side pass toward each other. Use your reins. Use your reins. Make it look beautiful. Bring hands. Look each other. Touch stirrups. Good. Very good. Not a beautiful couple, huh? That's <laughs> why. Don't tell them, but I want them to make Corelli babies. Okay. <laughs> I try to teach them how somehow. Okay. Hey, the other day I was coming into Germany, to Frankfurt, and the border patrol guy said, Let's see your passport. Why are you here? I said, Because there's a shortage of cowboys. I heard this. I said, Yeah? So? I said, there's a special breeding program that I'm going to start teaching. I have a special program for this, how to make more cowboys. Okay, now I'm going to put the music on, and they're going to dance with their horses, okay? With using the reins, I want you to see how beautifully, how light, how they're going to use the reins, asking for shoulders in, putting the shoulders over to the side, pushing the haunches in. Okay, they're going to do leg yields, they're going to do lots of beautiful things. You must learn how to provide lightly with the reins. Okay? Guys, have fun, just play with the music.
Whoop, whoop. What do you think, guys? <laughs> Come on, give them a bigger applause than that, guys. This is really nice to see people like you with a smile on your face because your heart is going, yeah. Love with the horses, language with the horses, a plan, leadership, something that works time after time. I've never found one horse yet, not even one. 73 countries, not even one horse yet that doesn't respond like this. I'm looking for it. I have some words a little challenge, some a little slow, some a little fast, but every one, because it's natural for them. It's not easy for people. But if we work together to make a better world for, for horses, then we are doing something really good. Not only for the horse, not only for ourselves, but for everyone around us. Because we have to be good examples. Raise your hand if you've ever seen somebody be a bad example with horses. I'm so sad, it makes me so sad to see this. So thank you for joining us. Please work together with us. I'm here all weekend, I'm gonna go down to the question and answer thing and I'll be back at my booth and I'm here all weekend for you. If you want a picture, you want an autograph, something. Thank you everyone. Let's work together.